Welcome to Quick No Facts. In this interesting video today, I will tell you about the concept cars of the 70s. Please subscribe, so let's start. 1970, Lancia Stratos HF0. The Lancia Stratos HF0 wasn't just a car, it was a statement on wheels. Unveiled at the Turin Motor Show, its wedge design was revolutionary, featuring a height of just 33 inches. This made it lower than virtually any other car, emphasizing its futuristic appeal. The HF0 was more than a design study. It was a fully functional vehicle, complete with a mid-mounted Lancia V4 engine. However, its extreme design and impracticality for everyday use led to a more conventional production Stratos. The production version retained the mid-engine layout and became a legendary rally car, but it lacked the radical edge of the HF0. 1970, Ferrari Modulo. The Ferrari Modulo, designed by Pininfarina, broke cover as a concept that looked like it drove out of the future and onto the show floor. Its ultra-low, flat body and canopy-style glass roof were unlike anything else, making it appear more spacecraft than sports car. Powered by a 5.0-liter V12 engine, the Modulo was fully operational. However, its design was so avant-garde that it remained a one-off, serving as a showcase of innovation and design prowess rather than a precursor to a production model. 1972 BMW Turbo. The BMW Turbo was introduced at the 1972 Munich Olympics, showcasing safety features and a striking design, with gullwing doors and a sleek aerodynamic body. It was a showcase of technology and design, featuring a turbocharged engine and an advanced chassis. However, its high production costs and the oil crisis made BMW reconsider its feasibility for mass production. The turbo's design DNA, though, lived on and influenced the development of the BMW M1, BMW's first mid-engine sports car. 1974, Ford Mustang RSX. The Ford Mustang RSX, Rally Sport Experimental, was a concept that aimed to inject some European rally flair into the Mustang lineup. Featuring a hatchback design for practicality and all-wheel drive for improved performance, it was a significant departure from the traditional Mustang formula Despite its innovative approach, Ford decided it didn't align with the Mustang's image or market strategy, leading to the project's cancellation. 1976, Ferrari Rainbow. The Ferrari Rainbow was a design exercise by Bertone, featuring a wedge shape that was very much in vogue during the 1970s. Its most distinctive feature was the Targa top, which allowed for an open-air driving experience while maintaining the sleek lines of a sports car. Despite its striking appearance, and the performance expected of a Ferrari, the rainbow remained a one-off. The automotive world was moving in different directions, and the rainbow's design cues didn't significantly influence future Ferrari models, which tended to favor more classical proportions and styling elements. 1977, Lamborghini Cheetah. Lamborghini's Cheetah was an early attempt to enter the off-road vehicle market, a significant departure from its usual high-performance sports cars. With a rear-mounted Chrysler V8 engine and a fiberglass body, it was designed for military applications and the civilian off-road market. However, its performance and handling were not up to Lamborghini's standards, leading to its quick demise. The Cheetah project did, however, lay the groundwork for the Lamborghini LM02, the company's successful venture into luxury SUVs, which has been revived in spirit with the modern Urus. 1978, Dome Zero. The Dome Zero was a striking Japanese sports car concept that seemed more at home on a movie set than on the streets. Its wedge shape and gullwing doors embodied the era's futuristic aesthetic. Despite generating significant interest at auto shows and the intention to produce the car for road use, the Dome Zero failed to meet Japan's stringent homologation requirements. Though it never reached production, the Dome Zero remains a cult favorite symbolizing the bold ambitions of Japan's automotive industry during that period. 1979, BMW M1 AHG study. The BMW M1 AHG study was a special version of the BMW M1 designed to showcase the car's potential in racing. The M1, BMW's first and only mid-engine sports car to date, was itself a limited production model developed in collaboration with Lamborghini. The AHG study featured enhanced aerodynamics, a more powerful engine, and distinctive paintwork. While the standard M1 made its mark in motorsport, 
The AHG study version remained a unique expression of what the M1 could achieve, embodying the pinnacle of BMW's engineering and design prowess at the time. Ford Probe 5 The Ford Probe 5 was part of the automaker's exploration into aerodynamic design and efficiency, a theme that spanned several probe concept of vehicles throughout the 1980s. With its futuristic design, the Probe V aimed to achieve an exceptionally low drag coefficient, embodying Ford's vision for the future of efficient, high-performance vehicles. Despite its innovative features, the Probe V remained a concept, with its aerodynamic lessons and styling cues influencing future Ford models in more subtle ways. Alfa Romeo Navajo the Alfa Romeo Navajo, designed by Bertone, was based on the chassis of the 33 Stradale, one of the most beautiful sports cars ever made. The Navajo featured a radical departure from Alfa Romeo's traditional design language, with a boxy, wedge-shaped body and a fully enclosed, glassy cockpit. Despite its futuristic look and the pedigree of its chassis, the Navajo did not progress to production. It remains a fascinating glimpse into what might have been a revolutionary design direction for Alfa Romeo. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.